Hi, and welcome to Do It Yourself Night Vision Goggles Part 1. In this video, I will show you how to take a normal camcorder or a cheap camcorder and turn it into a pair of night vision goggles. Some things you'll need for this project are number one, you're going to need a cheap camcorder. This is also the camera I am using for my project, which I purchased at Walmart for 20 bucks. Very cheap. The next thing you will need is motorcycle goggles, which I also got at Walmart for 5 bucks. The next thing you'll need is electrical tape, a lot of it, about 4 or 5 rolls, because it's better than glue. You'll need a power switch, then find some toilet paper rolls, because you're going to need 3 of them. You're going to need batteries, I'm using 2C batteries and 3 AAA batteries. You're going to need a square magnifying glass lens, 14 gauge electrical wire, IR LEDs, which I just ripped out of old remote controllers in my house, resistors, a roll of solder, and a shitload of fucking patience. Okay, so now that you have everything, now you can start. First thing you're going to do is disassemble your video camera. Once you have the whole camera disassembled, it should look like this. Now that your camera is disassembled, you can take out the IR lens. Locate the camera lens on the little motherboard. And this is the lens of the camera. This is attached to the chip. You can see right there, that little hole right there is where the video camera actually sees with. It's a little chip, and this connects to that digital camera, which I disassembled. And, I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can kind of see that red glare on the lens. That's the IR lens. You have to take that out for it to see in the dark okay so what you're gonna do is basically take it and you see those itty bitty screws here let it focus for a second my camera sucks on this phone so itty bitty screws you're gonna take those out and I can't really do take show you how to take it out and videotape at the same time but uh you take those screws out show you what you do next okay so I took out those little itty bitty screws now you see how big the little chip that holds the camera lens is and how small those screws are don't lose those screws you need to keep those screws to put the lens back on after you take out the IR lens okay so now I'm gonna put the camera down again and take open it up so you can see where the IR lens is Okay, now I got it off. That's the lens. And when I turn it on the angle, that red light that you see inside there is the reflection of the IR lens that prevents IR light from passing through the digital board. Okay. Or the digital eye, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so what you're going to do is that black ring you need to pop that out and take out the IR lens and then pop that back in and make sure you don't leave scratch that lens or that plastic lens right there because that's got to protect the eye you still need that lens so you remember after you're done put it back in but don't scratch it as you're taking out the IR lens this is what the IR lens looks like after you remove it it's a little square under that top layer lens that I told you that protects the eye 
Okay, so now that that le IR lens is out of the actual lens, your camera can now pick up IR lighting. And now you can pick up low lighting in the dark. But you still have a few more steps. So now reassemble the camera, put that little ring back in, and put the screws back in. Okay, so now that the camera has that taken care of, reassemble the front part of the camera, which looks like this. The lens protector is now back on the camera. Add electrical tape around the body of the camera and the lens to hold the little camera lens chip in place, like this. The yellow electrical tape is where you tape for support for the camera lens chip. Also attach the battery pack, but only the battery pack, so the button side is exposed. There is a reason why, and I'll explain that in a second. Here you can see the battery pack is taped to the motherboard. The reason why you only tape the one side of the plastic cover on is because you need the other side exposed for the cable to run the LCD screen. Okay, the next thing you're going to do, and I kind of sped things up and just did it already so I can just show you. Um, you're going to take that cardboard tubing. Here's the regular cardboard tubing, and here's what I did. You're going to take your toilet paper roll, you're going to cut it completely in half, then cut those other pieces in halves, and connect to two halves of the toilet paper roll that you just cut in half together, with, and staple it together, tape it together, however you want to do it. I use staples because that works out really just quick. And basically, on one end, you're going to take your LCD screen off the camera, and you're going to attach it to the tubing. And it should look like that. And then, basically, you're going to tape it on. And this is why I told you not to put the other side of that plastic covering on of the camera, because this cable's got to run from the LCD screen to your camera once you connect it to the dock. Okay. So, once you do that, you gotta get a magnifying glass lens that looks like this. It's gotta be a square shape. This is about the size of magnifying glass you want, and you want it to be square. And then you're gonna tape that to the other end of the cardboard tubing. Then connect the other side of the tubing to one of the lenses on the motorcycle goggles. It should look like this. Make sure it's held securely to the motorcycle goggle. Now it's time to attach the other part of the camera. Connect the flat cable back to the camera from the LCD screen. After you're done, it should look like this. Now that it's connected like that, you're still not done because you still got to build a support to build to hold the weight of the camera and hold the weight of the goggles together so it can actually stay on your face without falling apart. Here you can see how I built a support arm for it on the goggles. Also, in that picture, you can tell I kind of skipped ahead and already attached the second part of the that I was going to tell you about, but that is where I turned an old flashlight, and re the LED flashlight, and replaced all the LEDs with IR LEDs and put resistors in it, and this is what it looks like on the front of the camera. In this picture, you can see the old flashlight next to the lens. Also, I used two C batteries instead of the standard three AAA batteries that w came with the, the flashlight. I even added a switch to control the IR LEDs. 
And then this next picture shows you how you connect IR LEDs to a resistor and to a battery. And that's pretty much it. That's how you put it together. And this is basically what you're going to see when you're wearing the night vision goggles through one of the goggle lenses. And this is basically my night vision goggles. I hope you enjoy. I'll keep you posted when I update my goggles and do the other lens on the motorcycle goggles. I'll keep you posted, but here's a quick Snapchat uh, or Snap view of all the pics of everything. Of what it looks like. Now.